Good morning, this is my Shaman Olga reading for this new week. Today is Monday. Today I'm reading for Leo, Virgo, Libra and Scorpio. And yesterday I started reading for Aries, Taurus, Gemini and Cancer. And this reading here is for Scorpio. Welcome Scorpio. I got two new decks. One is the Medicine Woman, one is the Goddess Within. And the reading starts with the Medicine Woman card. Out for you came Intuition. And Intuition is the messenger of your destiny. So follow it. Message is that the intuition is saying to you that I am intuition, like the cat, my ancient Egyptian totem. I cannot be controlled. I just know. A precious gift of the feminine soul, intuition offers the keys to our inner world to safely guide our steps. Considered as our sixth sense, intuition is the complement of reason and allows us to comprehend reality in a different way. This so-called irrational function of the psyche, as the analyst and psychologist Jung put it, can be thought of as a gateway between our inner knowledge and the world around us. Our culture and way of life do not necessarily let us listen to our intuition, but when we follow it, we gain new insight into our lives and a better, and a better understanding brings us to a new awareness. Intuition is the primordial resource of the feminine, enabling solutions to appear as if by magic. So listen, daughter of the stars and Gaia, the world is speaking to you. Sending signs your way. Intuition is your surest compass to guide your steps toward your destiny. You are intuitive. It is your true nature. So trust in yourself. You might not always pay enough attention to it, but your intuition sends you many signs. So ask questions. And listen to the world around you. The universe is full of information. Clouds in the sky, conversations and encounters. It is time to take the ways less traveled. As signposted by your intuition. And inspire happy coincidences. Life will unveil its fabulous design for you. Intuition is life's messenger. So follow it. Awaken your gift. It is time to open up your vision and pay attention to your intuition. Do this intuition practice. Take a moment to prepare a clear question about a situation or a person and then decode your intuitive messages. Look upon your environment with new eyes as if you were discovering it for the first time. Wherever you are, become an observer. Let yourself be drawn to a particular object or person that will provide you with information. 
mobilize all your senses to see the signs behind appearances and listen for answers. You may be drawn to a painting or your ear catches snippets of a conversation, then all you need to do is join the dots. Intuition also uses specific sensory channels. These can be bodily sensations such as damp hands or a tight stomach, visual sensations such as flashes or auditory sensations such as your inner voice. Discover your own specific sensory channel, then cultivate your intuition. This is the best way to bring new meaning into your life. The Goddess Within card that came out is Valu. And Valu connects you with your inner child to access your past hurts and your current choice. The mythology of Australia's first peoples, known as the Dreaming, dates back 65,000 years. It centers around the belief that the earth is continually being created by dreaming spirits, the physical embodiments of the animals, people, and various aspects of the land. So in the dreaming of the Yolnuku people, Valu is heralded as sun woman. Valu and her daughter Bara, they journeyed through the sky daily, spreading heat wherever they passed. So one day, Valu realized their combined heat did not only provide warmth, but also scorched the lens, making the earth too hot. So Valu made a difficult choice to send her daughter back east while she continued journeying to the west to bring back the sun and to ensure that the earth's fertility persevered. Valu's message is that your inner child is the gateway to accessing your deepest emotions and your richest choice. Due to the nature of living in a dual plane designed for learning and growth, we humans are like children even when we are fully grown. So you are here in a state of spiritual amnesia to develop wisdom while seeking your needs to be met, just like your child counterparts. Unfortunately, we adults are not treated with the same level of gentleness and understanding as children. So if you struggle to love yourself, Practice the art of self-soothing via the medium of the inner child. It can feel easier to speak with your inner child with tenderness when you are not used to positive self-talk. When you are scared, place your hand over your heart and say, I know you are scared and that is okay. I am going to protect you. I'm asking you to be brave and do this scary thing because you will feel so proud of yourself afterward. When you feel sad, use words like, I know you are disappointed and so sad right now and you are allowed to be. I will hold space for this feeling. Eventually, 
your inner being will feel so supported that, that this practice will create an automatic feeling of safety. And if you did not have a positive childhood home, consciously choosing so become your parent that can assist you with working through the pain of the past. Working with the inner child can also be a direct source of experiencing joy, part of the experience that the earth has to offer is enjoying the little pleasures of creation. So be present with your inner child and make time to participate in activities for the sake of joy, not just for productivity. The Oracle of the Seven Energies card is Create Big Love. And the key concepts, they are love without conditions, romantic love, and how that experience changes you, deep and profound, harmonious connections, and even soul mates. Love heals all wounds, begins all life. It sustains you when you are starving for grace, when you stumble and you fall, and when you lose sight of your purpose and you fall prey to the limited perspective of the ego. So now is the time to fall in love and call in the awareness of the great big love that made you, which is ever pulsing through your veins. There is a heightened sense of awareness in the beginning stages of a relationship when nothing else matters but who is in front of you. You see them, you see yourself in them and you move in sync with the cadence of your hearts. You surrender to the magic that you share and engage in a harmonious dance with which is seamless in its movements, rising and falling with each moment and each breath. Although this card may portend such an intimate connection, you do not have to wait for a partner to experience it. You are being invited now to explore love in all its beauty. Ask, can I love without conditions, without needing things to be perfect? Do I love my life, what I do, and how I contribute to the world? Today, invite love with a capital L into your inquiry. You will be amazed and your very question may be changed as a result. Love is the strength you need today, the lens you must look through to find the truth and to find your way. Love is the way, the only way and also the only answer. The sacred traveler card that came out is surrendering to the journey, saying to release control. The card's meaning is to let go and it is saying all is well. The creator is at your side. You do not have to do it all alone. Your life is guided. This is not a time to try to control the details of your life. So let it flow. There are times to hold on, but this is the time to completely surrender. So surrender to the greater forces of the universe. Let go of wanting to control 
your future. Simply turn your challenges over to your spiritual source. The creator will escort you on your journey. The sacred traveler wants you to know surrendering is not giving up. You're not yielding to a force outside yourself. You are just opening to your soul. By releasing hold, you allow the creative forces of the universe to spiral through you, which brings inspiration and direction into your life. Sometimes the journey goes a different way than expected, and when it does, do not resist. There are times you can see the pathway, but you do not know where it leads. Not knowing where you are going can activate inspiration, insight and creative juices. You cannot discover new oceans and distant vistas unless you have the courage to let go of the shore. So you do not have to do it all yourself. Support is all around you. Simply open your heart and allow support in. And the last card is the Archangel Animal card. Out came the monkey. And the monkey is experiencing all that life has to offer. All types of monkeys, they originate from the 10th dimensional universe of Shekina and they step down through the Pleiades. Monkeys, they chatter and they call in the angel sonics that heal the creatures around them and help the trees to grow. Monkeys, they also use these sonics to share news and information from the elementals with all animals, birds, trees and even us humans. As heart-centered beings, monkeys they incarnate to experience with the right brain and follow their instincts. They are learning about qualities such as unconditional love, loyalty, togetherness, and trust. Their focus is on family life, enjoyment, developing the senses, food, and connecting with the trees. They are not here to develop human intellectual capacities or logical abilities, but they are extremely evolved nevertheless, spiritually, and truly they can experience oneness. So focus on developing your right brain and your heart, as this is the route to ascension and oneness. Take time out to relax, have fun, and just be. Enjoy your senses, love your food, smell the flowers, see beauty everywhere and touch your loved ones and listen with loving expectation. Attune to the wonder of nature and bring your family or your community together. And in this way, you really connect with and understand oneness. It is important to be aware of your voice when you talk or when you sing. When your voice is warm and harmonious, the angels can use it to create sonics that purify you and light you up. You will then radiate a pool of healing 
around you. And this not only helps others, but also attracts good into your life. So be carefree and be joyous. That was the reading for you, Scorpio. Thanks for listening. I do wish you a happy day today. I wish you a happy week. Take care and goodbye.